AFTV Julian, um, the last guy just said, it's it seems like it's written in the stars. It seemed like that today. That was like about five games in one. 17 corners Arsenal had. Yep. Uh, how many VAR decisions and did we have to go through? How many, I, I mean, it was it was just like drama. If you ever want to see drama in a football match, that was it. I looked at my phone at half time. My mate, he's a Chelsea fan. He texted me, he said, if you don't win this game, you're not going to win the league. Is winning that game showing that this team's looking like they are going to win the league? Well, the first thing I'll say is I don't believe in fate, but what I believe in is when a team has the belief and when the team has the skill and when the team puts in the performance and today hinged on moments mm. and one of the moments I'm going to give credit to to Bournemouth because mm. the start of that game you, it's very difficult to enjoy an opposition goal and at the end of the game we can look back and actually enjoy and respect and applaud their goal because it was creative it was it was a creative move by them for their first goal it was it, it, it was very mm. creative now i've been going to football i think i've added up i've been to more than a thousand games mm. and this is why football is such an amazing sport mm. because out of those thousand games i've never ever seen anything like that mm. and i probably never will and i wasn't expecting it but then once we go behind the performance was a good performance we then get hit by a sucker punch and that can happen at any time but then what happens is we have the belief and when people leave before the end of the game remember those guys in front of us you know 10 minutes before the for the end they're leaving i don't understand why would you come to football the most exciting bit it's like it's like going to watch a film <laughs> and mm. you're leaving before the end. You don't know what's going to happen. That is the great thing about football. And what we've got at Arsenal is you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, there, is, there is no predictability. Mm. Be before the game, we had the starting 11 show. We're looking at the stats. Everything signalled an easy Arsenal victory. But that's not what we got. And that's what makes today so special. And that's why it's so difficult to win the Premier League. And are you starting to say to yourself now that you know, that's another game chalked off. That's another three points. You know, the Man City players and Man City fans would have been looking at that and thinking, you know what, it looks like Arsenal can throw this one away. But what character? Yeah, it's, it's character. But when you look at City and the effect that it's probably had on City, yes, we're, we're all on a high. But let's transport ourselves into the minds and souls of City fans and City players. In the same way as we started watching the City game, we were doing that starting 11 show, but we had one eye on Arsenal mm. and one eye on City. Now, after their game, they would have been concentrating on our game. And think how they feel at the end of that. That They were already thinking, right, all we've got to do now, if Arsenal drop points, they're just three points ahead, we've got a better goal difference. All we've got to do is match their games and beat us, uh, and then we've got to beat them. That's not the case now. We've given a, we've given them a bit of a kick. We've given put them under more pressure, mm. and it was a double you know it's a double bubble. And we've even we haven't even discussed the um, the result at, at Wolves, which just is the icing <laughs> on the cake because we've actually got to the stage today where Tottenham are irrelevant. We don't you know we don't really care. Mm. We're going for the Premier League. Who really cares who's going for fourth place? Mm. That's not our competition anymore. Mm. Are we going to do it? Well, it was never in doubt for me that we were going to do it. But now I think we've got to look at the, the long term plan here. What we can achieve. Now, hold long -term. On, never in doubt today. It was in doubt. It, it, it was never in doubt at the beginning of the game. It was probably in doubt. The, the time we had doubts was right at the very end. Right at the very end. Maybe towards like the fourth minute of injury time. Up to then, I think the, the crowd had belief. Because what the team's done to us. Over, the, over this season and the, the seasons before is our belief has grown so we're never giving up either a few people did leave but the vast 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 majority of that crowd were behind the team had belief stayed to the end and enjoyed what happened at the end and we all got our rewards shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk subscribe to us on YouTube Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.